This is the RV Advisor Podcast with your host, Tom Alexander. Get all the latest information, trends, advice from experts, stories from the road, and more in the world of recreational vehicles. Now, here's Tom. John Gray is the CEO of RV Share, one of the premier trip planning sites, but they do an awful lot more. He joins us today from Austin, Texas. Hey, John. Hi, Tom. Thanks for having me on. Oh, it's great to have you. And, uh, you know, this is interesting. Can you share share a little bit about everything RV, Sh- RV Share does? Yeah, so really, basically, what we do is we're a website that allows people who are looking to rent an RV to connect with owners who have an RV that they make available through the site. So similarly to the way that Airbnb or VRBO works for hotels, we connect people who own RVs, allow them to turn them into a second source of income, and connect them to people who are looking to go on a great RV trip as a rental. Uh, that's a great idea. And it's it seems like, uh, you know, you'd mentioned Airbnb, which of course is just you know wildly popular. And, and so the next logical step is take Airbnb, uh, Airbnb on the road, right? Exactly. That's, yeah. that's what we've and we've seen a lot of, of customer demand for it, both on the owner side and on the, the traveler side. On the owner side, you know, we've we've been able to accumulate over 100,000 RVs on the platform. Mm-hmm. And pretty much anywhere you want to go, we have RVs available. And, you know, through renting through our service, you know, many owners are making up to $30,000 a year. You know, there's thousands of owners that are making more than $10,000 a year from booking out their RV. So how long have you been with RV Share? So the company was started in 2013, but I joined at the beginning of 2018. And where did, where did you come from? What uh, line of work did you come from before you re- so arrived there? there? I was busy for the past 12 years before that helping to build VRBO, which is uh, a leading marketplace for vacation rentals. It's, it's pretty similar to what Airbnb does, but you know we, we were able to accumulate millions of, of vacation rentals and make them available for travelers all over the world. So the, the experience of building that marketplace kind of suited itself nicely to, to what RV Share was looking to do. Mm-hmm. And I also am a big believer in expanding the definition of experiential travel. I think that if you're going on a trip to, you know, New York with your wife for a couple of days, you probably want to stay in a hotel. If you're taking your kids to the beach for two weeks, you probably want to stay in a vacation rental. But if you're looking to get out into nature, go to a national park, um, you know, go camping, those types of things, an RV is a wonderful option. And I really wanted to be part of, of bringing that option to the mainstream. That's great. Uh, we're speaking with John Gray. He's the CEO of RV Share. And we'll be back in just a moment with more. Meet Terry and Carrie. They want an RV. Really, they want the freedom that comes with being able to pick up whenever they want and to move from one breathtaking view to another. The kind of freedom that takes them across the country and beyond, living their dream. But if they buy the wrong RV, it might actually pop their dream world. Maybe they pick one that's too heavy to tow for their vehicle. Or go with the wrong dealership who won't service their RV. There are questions to ask before they buy, and even more once they become an owner. Thankfully, there's the RV Advisor, the only non-biased platform for information for the RV and outdoor enthusiasts. Get the best tips, tricks, and discounts at all KOA nationwide campgrounds and other huge discounts that every RV enthusiast will love. Now, Terry and Carrie are living the life exactly how they want. Visit the RVAdvisor.com or call 833-229-0911. John, uh, a question on, you have a Try First program with RV Share. Tell us a little bit how that works and how you prevent people from maybe, you know, taking advantage of that. Sure. So when we talk about trying first, we we mean a couple of things. One is, you know, if you list your RV through RV Share as an owner, it's free to list. As a traveler, if you want to come browse RVs on the site, it's free to come browse the RVs. You don't have to join any sort of membership program or anything like that. If you d- if you find an RV that you want to rent, or if someone wants to rent your RV after it's listed on the site, then you you only pay us if if a you know, if you do a booking through the site. So that's what, what we mean about, you know, free to try. Mm-hmm. The other thing, talk about trials, we see a lot, is people who are interested in buying an RV, 
but want to try it out first and do a kind of extended test drive. Mm-hmm. And many of them will come to our site, rent an RV, and, you know, rent an RV that's, you know, of similar specifications to the one they're looking to buy, and then get a good feel for it by taking it on a trip prior to, to making the, the large purchase. I see. Okay. And and what, what can people expect to pay? I'm, I'm guessing there's varying degrees of, of uh, pay plans. Yes. Yeah, so I would say it, it varies wildly. Mm-hmm. Um, you know, it depends on the RV. If you have a, you know, a small teardrop camper that you're pulling behind your, um, your car, mm-hmm. those are, are very inexpensive. They can be $50 a night, something like that. If you're looking to rent a, you know, a a large kind of class A, looks like a tour bus, really amazing RV, those can be up to a thousand bucks a night. Mm. On average, you should plan for about two hundred dollars a night if you're you know, if you're renting a, a kind of class C drivable R V or something like that. I see. I see. Now looking ahead, I mean are there plans for R V share, some you know, kind of expanding different things that you're you've got got in on the in the sites for twenty twenty? Yes. I mean, first, the you know we're in an early stage of this business. It's still growing really quickly, just as people are becoming aware of this concept. So that's a, a big kind of first part of it. The second thing is we're looking to make the the marketplace work more efficiently. And when we say that, what we mean is we want the owners to have far better tools to help market their RV on the internet. And we want renters to be able to come in, quickly use the site to find an RV that meets their needs mm-hmm. and, um, and, and book it right there on the website. You know, we have already 24 hour, uh, 24-7 roadside assistance. Um, you know, we, we offer secure payments through the website, and we work with an insurance provider to make sure that, you know, all of the, the rental insurance that you need for the RV, either on the owner side or on the renter side, is in place. And, you know, those are things we already have. We're always looking to make those benefits better by expanding, you know, the hours with which you can contact us for customer support, by, again, making the website look better, by, you know, spending more money on marketing the business such that more people are aware of, of the category and its, and its benefits. Mm-hmm. And, and people want to go and learn more about RV Share. Um, what's, what's the best way to do that? Come to RVShare.com, take a, you know, pick maybe where you live and a couple of dates and, and pull up the, the inventory, and it'll give you a really good feel for how the site works, either as an owner or if you're, or, or either as a renter, or if you're an owner, that's a great way to see how renters would be finding your RV on the site as well. I see. So, uh, and, and as far as, there's, there's, everything is done online. There's no uh, RV Share kind of brick and mortar place I, I walk into. I mean, obviously, I'm you have an office, but I'm talking about, um, you know, just a location somewhere. Everything is done online? That's correct. We're, we're an online business, and, the you know, our job is to connect owners and travelers. It's not to facilitate the, the rentals ourselves. We believe that our owners are the experts on their RVs and that they're the perfect people to be checking in travelers, telling them about how to use the RV both safely and comfortably comfortably, you know, to, to test drive it with them, those types of things. So all, yeah. all of that is done outside of, of us. Yeah, and and so I'm sure people are always wondering, you know, if they go through something like RV Share or Airbnb, how, how do they uh, in turn make their money, um, and, and it is, is it prohibitive? But uh, tell us how that works. Can you ask that question again? Sorry, I, I want to make sure I understand. Okay, what, sure. Sorry. So, our, uh, like our like Airbnb, for example, and and uh, any other company that aligns two different parties, how are they? How how does that company make its money? So basically, as, as I mentioned earlier, it's it's free to to sign up. But if a booking takes place, we get a share of the booking from both the owner side, and then the traveler also pays uh, a fee to us. So right. that's how we make our money is when the bookings take place. Yeah, yeah, because you know people always want to know. You know, they're going through some kind of a uh, what it, be it be it a broker situation or, or however whatever you want to call it. They're they're always curious. You know, it's like, hey, I want to you know make sure I'm getting the, the best bang for my buck, right? Absolutely. And, you know, in exchange for the, the fees that are paid to us, we, we do a lot of things that we believe make the, the experience a lot more trusted and positive for everybody involved. Um, you know, we, 
we make sure that the listings are, are verified. We verify the, the IDs of the people who are renting the RVs. We, again, provide 24-7 roadside. We provide a customer service team that's available to, to assist you both before you go on your trip, um, during and after. And then, um, you know, we also have a, a partnership with an insurance company that provides the, the level of insurance you need for, for renting an RV. I see. Well, John, we really do appreciate your time. Thank you so much for coming on the RV Advisor podcast and telling us about RV Share. I enjoyed it, Tom. Have a good day. This is the RV Advisor podcast. My name is Tom Alexander. We'll see you next time. So long, everybody.